What's up, everybody? We are back. John Delarose here, Delarose.com. That's D E L A R R O Z.com. I am a comic writer, and you can get all of my books on Amazon. Just look me up. All the stuff's in the description below as best as I can. And today we are reviewing Bad Idea Comics Passive Aggressive. Now, this is a two issue story uh, that everybody thought was a one issue story. And look at the two issues right here. They look exactly the same. You would not be able to tell from one cover to the next what is what. But on the inside flap, you have a clue that says passive. And this one over here, it says aggressive. So passive aggressive is really two books uh, masquerading as one. Now what happened was that idea sent uh, the books on the west coast of America uh, all of the passive, all, or the comic shops rather, all of the passive issues. And on the east coast, all of the aggressive issues. The dividing line, I forget exactly where it was. It's close to the Mississippi, I think. But you basically had to track down both issues. Now, uh, they did make this uh, somewhat simpler to track down the issues. So if you got one, they have this, uh, this little sticker they gave out called the Final Five. If you pre-ordered all of their Final Five with your local comic shop, you got this little sticker. You could have redeemed that sticker to get the other issue. I just called up a, uh, I did actually, I got the sticker. Uh, I don't have it on me, but I do have the sticker. Uh, but I called up a comic shop in Alabama to get the other one uh, and got that. So I, I appreciate those guys uh, for mailing that out to me. Um, it starts out, this is by Matt Kent uh, on art and David Lapham. Lapham? 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. He's the guy from uh, uh, Stray Bullets uh, fame on art. And so uh, both these guys are big heavy hitter indies, uh, and that's what Bad Idea usually gets. So uh, black and white, and it's about a uh, sort of a guy who's a Russian uh, hacker sort of guy, and he he pulls that, that stunt from Office Space. Remember the movie Office Space? Very indie art. I mean, if so, you're, you're getting what you get there uh, in, terms of, uh, in terms of that. But David Lapham's very expressive and does, does a good job on that. Uh, it's part of the Hero Trade series. There's a bunch of like stories. I guess they're connected in the same world uh, with that David Lapham's drawing and Matt Kent's writing. And uh, this uh, this Russian guy like uh, has a girlfriend. It is like a little server farm or whatever, and he's found a way to steal a bunch of money from uh, this billionaire back in America, and is using it to get out of there and then go off to some deserted island somewhere. Of course, he gets caught, and uh, and his his girl has problems along the way, makes him really sad, and uh, he ends up on the island alone, miserable, and uh, somebody comes after him. Whoops, this is not the right thing. Somebody comes after him, and uh, he uh, loses most of his uh, take, but he's, he's out there. He's out of Russia, and he's not happy about it. So you think, that, you know, you could, if you just got this, you might think, oh, this is the end, and that's that unless you knew on the internet what was going on. There's a backup story called The Erasure, and it's about a guy who's going and killing everybody who used to do his dirty business with him. It's like kind of like The Punisher. And uh, he realizes there's only one person left to kill who's bad. It's a cute little backup. Uh, a lot of the Bad Idea books have cute little backups like this. Uh, and that was that for Passive. Uh, Passive was very fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, I, I like the story all the way around, and uh, I'd call that a 9 out of 10. Uh, and that that was it and fun enough by it, uh, its own lonesome now what happened on the flip side aggressive is uh the guy he stole from is actually kind of bruce wayne billionaire who's a superhero who goes around and kicks people's asses and so he's got a bunch of gadgets and he goes to russia to track this guy down he just uh, wrecks face on the server farm there and uh, eventually finds a way to get his money back from the server farm there yeah, but does not catch up with our uh, passive guy. He ends up on the same beach at the same time, enjoying his life uh, with his little assistant lady. I'm not sure what's going on there. Now, Bad Idea has a little thing uh, here. We have this page left intentionally blank. Why would we do that? You clearly missed something. Trolling its readers there uh, a little bit. And it's got the same erasure story uh, as it does in the other one. I don't know why they did that, but they did. And you also get this intentionally blank page at the end. Now, uh, the reason is because this is a 22-page book in, in its main story, and this is a 24-page book in its main story. So they ended up with two different blank pages, so they just kind of did that. Um, I liked Passive a little better than Aggressive. Uh, personally, I, the Batman-Bruce Wayne trope thing kind of 
I don't know, it's a little old for me. Uh, but uh, enjoyable overall. The hunt was kind of interesting. Uh, I was a little annoyed at first when I found out there was a second version and I had to track it down, but it wasn't all that hard to track down. That was kind of nice. Uh, if you are looking for these on eBay or something, though, uh, good luck on that because they are, they're running like 30, 40 bucks for an issue, which, which is, uh, you know, a bit annoying, but not too bad. All right, that's it for now. Uh, 9 out of 10 for passive, and I'd say like maybe a 7 out of 10 for aggressive. Uh, and so that's where we're at with these comics. I hope you enjoyed the review and uh, the talk about the Bad Idea comics. Certainly, they've got a lot of interesting ideas. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.